everybody. We're back with our dried butterfly wings. I've made a few out of um, butterflies out of the other ones, but I saved a few to show you how to do it. So you have your wings that are dry. You can unfold them. This one, two. Okay. Now I like to put a little bit of glue on the corner of my paper because we're going to glue these wings together but I don't want a lot of glue you just need a tiny little dab and I think it's a little easier to just put a small amount ooh this glue is running out small amount on the corner and just use it with the tip of your glue nozzle Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put these butterfly wings together. We're going to take two of them and we're going to layer them like that. You can see this side, that side. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this glue and put just a dot right in the middle. And then I'm going to layer one set of wings on top of the other. I usually turn them and reverse them so they look a little more interesting. Hold that in the middle for a little bit. So you want to get something that stays together. Okay, kind of looks like a butterfly already. Okay, so we're going to take a stick that you find outside. Um, you can use a toothpick and cut the ends off if you want. Um, but something skinny and lightweight for the body. I suppose you could even use a little drinking straw, but I think the stick is the best. Another thing that you can do for the body is make a bobby pin body. This is like a hairpin, and those are cool because they look like real butterflies, but you can also put them in your hair if you want. All right, so let's do the stick first. What we want to do is we want to take either some thread or some dental floss, some kind of skinny string, and tie it to the stick. I did it earlier because it takes a few minutes to tie it and it'll save a little time. So I have a stick tied to my thread. So now what I'm going to do is take a little glue in the middle of your butterfly wings, just a little. We don't want to get too much or it'll get too soggy and the wings will come apart. Then we're going to hold the string up, place the stick right in the middle. You can see where it makes a body. And then pull this little string out the other side. Now we're going to fold these wings in half, press down with your finger, count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That should hold. If it comes loose, just do it again. Okay, so now we have our butterfly wings, our little stick body, and the thread that we can hang it, which looks really cool. But here's the neat thing. If you tie the end of this to a stick and you shake the stick, it really looks like it's flying. You'll have to, you'll have to try it to see, see it to believe it. It's very cool. So there's one butterfly. Here's one I made earlier that's actually attached to a stick. This is one of the bamboo skewers we used for bead making last time. So I'm just going to shake the stick like that and the butterfly is attached to the string that's attached to the stick and so what I'm doing is just shaking it like that but it's way up here so you don't see it. Little butterfly. Okay, the other thing is the uh, bobby pin idea. Oh, wait a minute, here's another one on a string. Oh, I forgot that I made one. Once you know how to make these, you can make a bunch of them. I like to have lots and lots of them. You can even make curtains out of them. Put them a bunch of them on one string and they look really neat. Um. Well, I don't see my bobby pin one anywhere, so I'm going to take this one apart. Maybe I'll take this one apart. 
So now the string is off. And instead of the stick, I'm just going to take my hairpin and I'm going to stick it through, stick the wings through the middle to make a body. So that looks so much more like a butterfly. Really? And then you can put this in your hair. I don't know if I can show you. I'll send you pictures so you can see what it's going to look like. Okay. And that is our butterfly project. Now you can make the wings differently and make dragonflies. You can make butterflies. You can either make small animals. Like you could even make like a tiny bird or you could do a, maybe a bat, make bat wings. There's a lot of possibilities. But try the butterfly wings first. And then once you learn how to do that, you can do other, other critters, other animals. Okie doke. See you next time. Bye.